Sorry. <laughs> Couple of girls. Sorry. Building a strong girls. financial future and an even better relationship. Yeah. Couples money management. Yeah. I don't have either. But you will need it. I don't have money. Or but boyfriend. you will need it at some point. <laughs> Hello there, welcome back to another episode of Slightly Entertaining. Um, today we've got a jam-packed episode. Mm-hmm. It's today is Love Your Bookshop Day, Love your bookshop World day. Calligraphy Day, oh. World Lizard Day. Oh, I hate lizards. Most importantly <laughs> though, today is the month of our birthdays! Yay! Woo! <laughs> so we thought since this episode was sort of like in the middle of the yeah. month, why not use this to celebrate? exactly we don't need any more excuses to talk about ourselves exactly (laughs) so today we've kind of planned a little gift exchange Mm -hmm. we've both gone to target kmart yeah and gotten each other gifts that fit in different categories yeah and we're gonna give them to each other um but first here's some footage of us buying Whoosh. Hey everyone. We can have it together. Can we like go in Target? <laughs> We're in Target. Going to, starting at Target, might go to Kmart later if I don't find anything here. I have a list, Carmen's made a list yeah. of things. Um, I haven't thought of what I'm going to buy her and I don't know what's here. Okay. Peace out. I'll see you soon. Okay, so basically the list has a couple of things. There's like something her favourite colour, something she needs, something she can wear, something to try. I can't remember the other one, but... I don't really know what I'm getting yet. She, I don't even know her favorite color because I don't, I don't think she has a favorite color. She told me she doesn't have a favorite color. So she said there are colors I like. I don't know what it is. Guys, I'm thinking for something that she needs, I really want to get like a kid's toy. Like, oh no, or something to try. Like some of these like cute, like kids. Like, like I saw this, like it's a little color by number. I don't know how much it is though. Because we have a like budget of like 30 to 50 dollars or something. I kind of forgot to film because um, I was busy looking, but I thought I saw this thing, something purple, a jumbo tumbler bag, and then I saw the tumbler. I was like, actually, that's kind of cute. I was kind of meant to get a joke present. This is turning out to be really cute. So, this is what I have so far, and it's her favorite color. So, I'm either going to keep both of them or I'll get rid of one. We'll see. I found like the best thing. It's like this little, little like latex dino. Like A for cinnamon, but B, she actually like it. I was supposed to be like pranking her, but this is turning out really cute and it's on sale. The thing is something they can wear. Do I get her a dog collar? <laughs> Just as a joke. I think I might. Okay guys, update. I got two things from the kids section basically the first one is for something i want her to try it's like this paint your own magnet set it's like those clay things with your paint i'm sure she's already done it but i don't know i want her to try it i guess she said she's bored even the holidays is coming over and then something i think she needs i'm putting it as these harmer bead things i don't know if that's what i want to get for now but they were cheap and they looked cool and i used to love these harmer bead ones so i'm like she needs to try it i don't know if she has but yeah Guys, I'm having second thoughts about the hum beat. I want to try and find something better, but I can't find something better. Guys, I found the mother load. Look at all these socks. This is going to be my thing that reminds me of them because she always has funny socks. And this is like my nice gift. And then I got rid of the other stuff. I'm just going to go something she can wear, something her favorite color. And then the rest will figure out at Kmart. Guys, we've made it to Kmart. I have the goods. And now I need something that Keisha needs and something for her to try. Let's see, I have an idea for something she'd need, so I need to go to the beauty section. Something for her to try. I genuinely have no idea. Guys, I'm in Kmart now. I finished my Target buy. Um, you guys will see everything that I bought in the video. I only have to go something that she needs and something that reminds me of her. Now my thinking process was for the something that reminds me of her, I want you to do something like either like nerdy or old. I found yarn, like knitting yarn, but I don't know if that's good enough. Or I found these like posters that came out where there's like a, there's some designs that I could possibly choose from, but I don't know. And then also I'm here in the book section because I'm trying to find something she needs, like one of those like books about like, you know, being a better person or something. Guys, so I'm at Kmart. My last thing we get out is some Lego. I've got about $10 to spend for something she needs to try. I'm going to try and make it like the thing that Lego's actually doing is what she needs to try. Um, I really have nice stuff. The only thing I really wasn't nice on was the cat collar for something to wear. Um, yeah, happy birthday. I'm a nice friend. Thought I could roast you, but I can't. Even after all those times that she 
pranked me. Is it secured? I even got a bag in her favorite color. Like, I've actually niced her. I've niced her so hard. Okay, guys, I grabbed a book. I won't show you because I'm going to leave that for a surprise. I'm just going to the toy section again, like I always do, because I really want to find out, like, a nerdy science toy. If not, then I'll go with the posters, but I really want to find, like, a nerdy science toy. I couldn't find anything, like, all related apart from neon, and that wasn't good enough, so I'm going to grab that. I like the song. Anyways, so hopefully I find something, and then my whole list will be done, and then we'll be ready to show Carmen when we get back to the studio, so I'll see you guys there. Whoosh. Okay, so we have our <laughs> yep. bag full of gifts. As you can see, yeah. one of us clearly cares okay. about the other one. No, more but like i presentations. I'm being savvy. I just bought this and it fits everything. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay. Can I actually splurge for a bag? I can put it in these gift bags if you'd like. It's all good. Okay. Yeah. I just want everyone to know how much I care. Okay. Well, maybe you wait and see until I show you my presents. But okay. I'm excited to give these to you, Carmen. Basically, we had five categories that we had to buy that Carmen made. And these are the categories. We had something their favorite color, something they can wear, mm -hmm. something they need, something that reminds you of them and something for them to try. Yeah. So I guess- And the budget was $30. Yeah, $30. Yeah. Um, Which we both stuck to. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. Um, So yeah, let's just start off with the favorite color thing. Can I just say, okay, I didn't know Carmen's favorite color, but also when I asked her, she said she doesn't have one. So yeah. Well, yeah. with me. The first thing I got was the bag. It's Keisha's favorite color, purple. Gee, I wonder what my favorite color is. Yeah, well. Um, and so the second thing is in here. So when when you're ready. Oh, you okay, at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, like I said, I don't know Carmen's favorite color. She did tell me there are certain ones that she'd like. Initially, I was thinking like an aqua like or mint green. I feel like she's like that kind of vibe. But then I saw something, I was like, oh my god, yeah, no, that color. That's definitely the one. I really don't have a favorite color. Just like whatever's nice. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, two one. one. A lime green <laughs> oh, Of course. It's not, okay, it's the limest of the greens I could find. But mm -hmm. maybe we've addressed this in another point. But Carmen's. I was the original funny. brat. I would just like to point that well, out. Well, that's true. But um, You know the brat trend? Yeah, I started it. Not really. But yeah, really. so we, like, she had this funny little lime green set for clothing. And so this, it's like a They all made fun green. of me for wearing lime green. But it's pretty good. It's a car. It's a nice BMW. A, a BMW M4, actually. Wow. Um, you can collect all the models if that's you want. Cool. But yeah, that's I love that. Thing. I got you a little purple dino toy. It's a pet toy. I know. Cinnamon. Uh, uh. Uh, the next category is something they can wear. Now, <laughs> okay, looking back at this, I realized as I was checking out, I don't actually, I thought you wear this that way, but I actually don't know if you can wear this. Like I was looking at it at the counter and I was like, how do you put this on? But okay, okay well, mine, you can tell I went to a certain section first. Oh, yeah. And this is what you're going to wear. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, so um, I got you a cat collar. Oh, a cat collar. It's not even a dog. What are we going to do with that? I don't know. I just saw How it. How am I supposed to even and wear it? It's funny. I thought you could just put it on. I Okay, I can't get it out of this, but I would try it, but I can't get it out of the thing. This is um, undercover squishables. I uh -huh. I thought shop for a new disguise. Oh, <laughs> is it for the toy to wear? Yeah. <laughs> so, I, no, okay. I okay, can't no, even no, no, wear it. Out, I know I have a small head, but maybe not that small. Hear me out. It was in the section of the things that you put on your head. I yeah. saw a dinosaur. I saw a shark, and I saw that. And then I saw this one, which was on clearance for five dollars, and I was like, oh my god. And it's a cute little jellyfish as well. Like, look at that. And so I saw this and I was like, yeah, you can put it. Oh, you can maybe put it. Put what through there? My ears? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't my ears know where you're going to put that. It's not even open at the bottom. I can't wear it. I can put my face in it. Okay, I thought, see, that was the thing. I, I thought you put your head through. Give me Abby. Look! Look! <laughs> Abby's got it now. Oh. It belongs to I, <laughs> I genuinely thought it was like, because it was in the section of the other ones that you could put on your head. I thought it was just a different animal. You should have looked at the bottom for the head hole. No yeah, but do, do you remember that was the point in the time where you crashed into me? So I wanted to quickly oh. go there and go. Uh, you got to come back. 
Anyways, thank you. I appreciate it. I, I appreciate the thought. I guess I appreciate the tat bow tie. I wish you could put it on, but um, I can't. It's I can't be bothered to get scissors to do the zip ties. <laughs> Anyways, the next, next one, one is something they need. Something they need. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this one is my fun. Okay, this is this is my a little bit one. funny for you too. Okay. Ready? Ready? Three, two, one. Is that you? Oh my god! <laughs> I got you? her Link 72 hour anti sweat deodorant. I actually might use that, I'm not gonna lie. Frozen parents. Is it sediment? Sediment? Mm. I don't know how you pronounce it. Scent. Well, thank you, because that's actually. I got you a book. Uh, <laughs> um. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Couple of girls. Sorry? What is this? Building Couple a strong girls. financial future and. An even better relationship. Yeah, it's How do something you, you need. Manage money in a way that helps you walk, work towards your goals, empowers you both, and keeps the love story going. Yeah, couples money management. Yeah. I don't have either. But you will need it. I don't have money. Or but boyfriend. you will need it at some point. <laughs> Thank you. I will cherish this. <laughs> you will need it at some point. What are my parents gonna say when you give me this? Um. Does she know something we don't? You'll need it at some point in your life, but I'm just not oh, now. thank you. You're welcome. Um, and thank yeah. you for the... Me um, and my partner will forever... Sweat. You got yeah. me anti-sweat link spray. That's somewhat I relevant. Read that. <laughs> will I? Yes, you will. All right, thank you very much. What's okay, the next category? Last two. Something that reminds you of them. Wait, what's the other category? Something that I have to try? Yeah. Okay, this is what reminds me of you. And okay. I got two bonus gifts as well, just because I felt like okay. it. Okay. This one? Okay, so basically... I need to explain mine yeah. before I say it. Do you need to explain yours? Yeah. Okay. Basically with mine, there were two things that I was looking for when it reminded mm -hmm. me of you. Either something that reminded me of like your old soul or mm -hmm. something that reminded me of like your nerdy personality. So I was going for either of those two trying to find something. Okay, what about you? Well, I've really nice you. This actually got you something quite sweet that I oh. think is relevant to the podcast and that you'll like. I really spent a long time trying to choose the right one for you. And is it gonna be a joke one? No, it oh, isn't. Actually... It's genuinely nice. Okay. Well, this and one's genuinely nice. I got nice. it on sale. This was supposed to be seven dollars. I got it for free. Okay, well, this is genuinely nice. Okay. You just might not like it. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, oh sucks! Look, and I even got my myself a pair. Some two. Oh, oh, I got Doritos and Baby Yoda. I got you a periodic table of elements puzzle. Wow. Because I thought you're also tutoring your kids. Like you're tutoring for chemistry now. I thought you might, you know, want that. And it reminded me of you because I went to the nerdy section. And I was like, yep, this yeah, is I haven't common. done a puzzle in I reckon like since lockdown. Yeah, me too. So, so there you go. Thanks. I will you're definitely welcome. enjoy doing this. And I'll enjoy these socks. Wag. Ooh, I like them. So I, I like cool. funky socks. See, I know you do. Well, this one, this one, my final one is the one I think you'll like the most. Wait, do you want me to give you? I'll give you my bonus ones now. Oh, okay, yeah. Bonus ones. I just saw this because. I got you a lollipop. Oh, yes. I saw this too. I probably won't eat this, but thank you. But I just got it for the yeah. memories. And then I got you this for Mummy Mazda. <gasps> a mento. Oh, okay. Grape. Not my favourite flavour of Mentos, but it's okay. It was either that or pineapple. I can deal with grape. Thank you. I just got it for I'll you. pop that in the car. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll leave that there. The final category was something for them to try. Yeah. Now, you told me. Okay. I know it's the end of holidays, but you said you've been bored. So I got you something that. Can cure your boredom. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, what about you? What oh, did you get me? <laughs> I just got you something. It's not really to try. It's just like something fun that you can do. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I think you like this one. It. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lego friends. <laughs> Who are these people? I don't know. Who I are think... these people? These are not the original red Lego friends. I just saw it. Who's Jules? Who's this guy? But thank you. It's you. Are. I will do this. I got you a paint your own magnet set. Wow, thank you. It's got little, like, little clay magnets. I will have fun painting magnets. Yeah. Look at the back. Like, that's what they can look like. <laughs> There's like some butterflies on the back. I saw it. I was like, mm, she said she was bored. Maybe I'll get something to do. Yeah. Well, that is. Thank you. My I was looking thank for you. food, but none of the food options were good. Yeah. For you to try. I wanted to get her to try Turkish Delight again. Which, if you watch that food episode, you know that I despise. I couldn't find it. Thank you. I really like all my. Um, but what's a birthday without cakes? 
So we bought ourselves a birthday cake that we're going to share. Slice (laughs) of cookies and cream flavoured cake that we can share. Yeah. And we're just going to, you know, chat to you, have a little mukbang while we um, talk about our favourite or our past birthday experiences. Yeah. I, for one, Carmen, I don't know about you, have had some like good birthday themes, I think. Mm. How are we going to do Oh, 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 oh. Mmm. It's a good cake. Let me try. I am a bit of a picky cake person. I don't think it's too, too sweet. Mmm. I like it too. Nice. Good reviews. Mmm. Would eat again. Would eat again. Are we just going through the ages or? Yeah. We'll just talk about your memories. All right, birth. <laughs> well, my birthday. I don't remember much of it. Me my neither. My actual birthday. I saw a lot of darkness and then suddenly. Actually, I was a C section baby. Oh, you were positioned the wrong way, weren't you? Yeah. But decided to come out first. <laughs> but yeah, so that's birth. <laughs> that's as much as I can tell yep. you guys. Um, um, I remember my sister's birth. Oh, how was that? Um, well, I was I kind of sitting know. outside watching Postman Pat the whole time. So fair enough. You know, what was your emotions like? Um, I was kind of young still. I was like five, so I didn't really remember, like, know what was going on. Mm. Did you but... get to, like, see her straight after? Mm-hmm. It was a water birth, so my mum was in, like, a pool. I heard, I heard everything that went down, but I didn't um, <laughs> know what was happening. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I don't remember my first birthday. Oh, but I can tell you, apparently, just after my first birthday, I became very sick and I had to go to the hospital. Oh, no, what happened? I don't know. Apparently, I wasn't eating for days, and then I felt really sick. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. So that's fun. I <laughs> nearly I died don't... after just being born. <laughs> I don't remember anything of my first year of life. I don't remember that. I was just told that. I don't know if I like Second birthday. Do you remember anything? I don't know if it was my second birthday. Surely not, because... How developed are you when you're two? I don't know. I don't but remember. I feel like um, it was either second or third, but I had a Nemo-themed cake. Mm. I don't think I remember this, but by looking at photos, I remember the memory. And I was with my friend from like preschool. Yeah. Um. Um. We were singing "Happy Birthday," and it was time to blow out the candles. And I started crying because I got too scared of the candles, so she blew it out for me. Oh. Blew it out. For me. Blew it out. Blew it out. <laughs> blew it out for me. So um. That's funny. That is funny. I don't remember. I don't even remember what years I had my birthday parties. I remember my sister's parties, but not mine. Oh, wow. Well. All I remember is I had a Lala Loopsie party. Lala Loopsie? You don't know Lala Loopsies? I've heard of them. What's a Lala Loopsie? They're like the little dolls. They're like button eyes, but they're not like creepy. They're like cute. Coraline? No, 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 no. They're cute. They're like little like oh. dolls. Yeah. Insert picture on screen. Mm-hmm. I don't remember much of fourth. It was just at home, I think. Fifth was where... It started getting exciting. Mm-hmm. I had a strawberry shortcake themed birthday oh, party at Lollipop's one. Playland. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. I wish I knew back then. Mm-hmm. Because I was obsessed with strawberry shortcake. Mm-hmm. And for, oh, I will say this, for each of my birthdays, I think for every one of them, my mum made my cake because she's got like a little, I don't know, she likes making cakes out of like the fondant. She's really yeah. good at making designs. My mum did that too. Like yeah. she made all the cakes. She did like the Barbie cake. Have you ever had one of those? Did yeah. Stick the dollies? Yeah. So yeah, she made all my cakes and she made it fit each theme that it That's was. That's cool. I don't know if you've seen any photos, but like, yeah, so that one was strawberry shortcake. Um, And then I had my little doll on top. What about mm-hmm. you? I don't remember. I don't remember age or anything. All mm-hmm. I remember is la la loopsie. Oh. That's it. Oh. I honestly thought I would remember more, but I don't. This. It's just all cream. I know. That's why I don't like it. Um, that's the other thing that I found. I don't like the fondant in my mum's cakes. But I don't like fondant either. My most recent birthday, you remember mm-hmm. the purple cake I had? Mm-hmm. I liked that cream. It was just mm-hmm. buttercream, but it wasn't sweet and it wasn't too much. Um, no, I remember in year seven, I had a good birthday party with roller skating. I remember that birthday that party. That was a fun one. I want to go roller skating again because mm. when I was younger, I used to do a lot of roller skating. And so I was trying to look. There was like nowhere nearby that you can get and mm. like go do it. But did trek out a bit far, but yeah. it was fun. It was a good one. I think it was like primary school was all my themed birthday parties, and then after that, it was just like hanging out. I haven't even had like a proper birthday party since that one. I think mm. everything else has just been at home, yeah. well, not at all. I didn't even have an eighteenth. Mm. My eighteenth was just at a restaurant. That was good. That was mm. a fun party. But yeah, back to primary school because that was the fun days. Mm. Those are the good ones. Age seven, I had a disco themed birthday because at that time the whole like trend was either like fluoro or disco or like neon. 
Mm. For some reason, everyone's birthdays for like seven or eight was in that theme. I remember. So I had a disco theme birthday. Okay, tell me, what was the best and worst present you've ever got? Oh, I can oh. kick off with the worst one I've ever got. What? Shout out to my mum. <laughs> I love my mum, but this one sticks with me. It's just had this thing of getting me like cleaning supplies. Like one year I got a feather duster, one year I got some cloths. And oh her, her reasoning behind it is maybe you'll be inspired to clean. And yeah, I'm <laughs> That's sorry. That's so funny. Or there's these legendary things again, what my mum got me. Yeah. There's these like blue light glasses. Okay. You've seen these. Is blue this light- when you were like older? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. This was like last year. So you meant like in primary school, no, no, she no, got no, no, you no. like cleaning supplies. I was like, what? Oh, pr- cleaning supplies of the. Well, Whoa. <laughs> cleaning supplies were like from year seven to now. Okay, yeah. But the blue like glasses I got, they weren't like glasses. Like, you know, like you can clip oh, them on. So I actually have glasses. And so you clip them onto your glasses and you like flick them down. <laughs> they're like these little plastic things. And they're like, like neon orange. <laughs> like not even like, you know, like inconspicuous or anything. It's like neon orange and they're like the flick ones. So like when I'm, when I'm like just normal, I have my glasses on and then when I want, you know, blue light. I just... <laughs> Took them down. It's pretty cool. Um, and then tragically, my dog ate them. Tragic. Tragic. So tragic. Shouldn't have accidentally left them on the floor. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's the best present? Best present. Um, I've had lots of good ones. Like I got record player a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. That was good. I got like a The Office Lego set. That mm-hmm. was pretty cool. But I think the one that like sticks with me the most is like being the best thing at that mm. time was my Nintendo DS. Mm. I had a nice pink one. I got it because yeah. all my friends had one. And then, yeah, it was great. I'm trying to think. I, the only thing I can think of is, like, toys that I got. Like, one time I got my electric scooter, which I really wanted, an mm-hmm. electric scooter. And then I had, like, a few rollerblades I got. That's cool. I can't think of, like, like an, like an amazing. They were all just good. Good toys. <laughs> Mostly just toys. Actually, oh. Abby was my birthday present to you. Oh, it was, yeah. This was a birthday present from Carmen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is my favorite, guys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I don't. I can't think of the worst one. Not that anything's bad, but birthday presents where it's like I can't use it, and I end up like having. That's me too. Like I hate doing that, but like I can't use it. I like it if it's thoughtful or useful. Mm-hmm. That's my yeah. thing. Like, I'll always be happy no matter what it is. Yeah. It's like I can't really do anything with it. It's a bit like. Mm-hmm. Maybe my favorite birthday present is in it was in lockdown the one where we were in lockdown it was my first pair of like nice sneakers those mm. Jordans because I was like that was like the first time I got like nice sneakers yeah I don't know yeah would I you just say, really liked getting toys would you say you're an easy person to get a present from? I used to be because you could get me a Lego set mm. I'd make like I every birthday Christmas whatever Lego 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 everyone would get me Lego I used to have tons but now I guess it's harder. Yeah. Now it's just like I don't know what I want. Probably just money. Yeah. Same. Yeah. I feel like that makes it easier. Like you get me money, I genuinely will be so happy yeah. with that. Yeah. But yeah. Like when you would just I didn't finish my things. themes. My birthday. Oh yeah. Continue. Theme. Continue. I had my eighth birthday. Oh, my eighth birthday was just have to stay at home with a few friends. But I remember a funny story from that. My mom made the cake again, and it was two other friends and me. So she made little like us in mm-hmm. little like oh, that's fondant. So cool. She made me white. <laughs> she made me this white girl with black hair. I was like, what is this for me? Maybe she didn't have brown hair. No, friends. she didn't. But like, it was like three white girls. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> just, something's not right. She should have like painted it or something. I was like, that's not me, mother. Anyway, that was funny. And then my ninth birthday party had a mystery themed one. Whoa. So this lady came in just as like a um, character from Scooby-Doo. I can't remember which one. I really Velma? like this photo. I think Velma, yeah. I saw a mystery themed birthday party that was fun. Uh, it was like a little detective thing. And then my tenth was probably probably my favorite. It was Harry Potter themed. Oh yeah, of yeah. course. So I had like Did I know you when you were ten? No, this was year four. Mm, okay. So that was when um yeah, I had a Harry Potter theme, so my parents did this one. Mm. They made like different activities that we had to do that were Harry Potter related. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny. Um and then, yeah, I think five. After then, it was just like, never really had the fun. So that was like the last fun party I had. Yeah, so that's our birthday. So if you enjoyed our muck, mini mukbang with the mini cake. Mini mukbang. We never sang Happy Birthday. Oh. Ready? One, two, three. Go, shawty. It's, it's your, your birthday. birthday. We're going to party like it's your birthday. Fun fact. When we were online, guys, the reason why we're singing, well, obviously, because it's your birthday song. 
like the reason why I was singing it's the birthday we were, song. Yeah, when we were online, we used to because we couldn't have parties, so our friend group made these like little like videos with a compilation yeah. from everybody in our group saying happy birthday to that one person. Her birthday was first in our group, and for some reason, I was filming mine, and then I decided let me just randomly <laughs> sing this song. So I like got dressed up. I by dressed up, I mean like in my like sleeping like robe and sunglasses and I said go dun, 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 dun. yo yo go Carmen it's your birthday I don't know if and I can find it whole... can I put that in yeah 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 let's drop the beat dun 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 go and party it's your birthday we're gonna party like it's your birthday happy birthday girl happy birthday to us we're old now Mm-hmm, we are. If you want to give us presents, feel free to. No, 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 That I feel like that's illegal. Why? No, it's not. Our birthday present is if you subscribe and share this to all your friends and family. Yes, so that, that's a subscribe. good birthday present, actually. Yeah. That is what we want for our birthday. That is what we want. For not that you have to get us anything. And if you don't forward this video to five people, you won't get any presents on your birthday. Because that's how that's, it works. Yeah, you might not even make it to your birthday. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't promise that. I wasn't anywhere near that kind of realm. Whoosh. Okay. Right, just as a little kind of sum up to this episode, mm -hmm. I'm just going to tell you a couple of weird birthday traditions that I found okay. um, around uh, the they, world. Uh, yeah, okay. Cool. Yeah. okay. Um, so the first one was ear pulling in Spain. So oh. in Spain, ear pulling is a birthday tradition where your Spanish friends pull your ear once for every year, ear you've, oh my gosh, that's a tongue twister, every year mm -hmm. you've lived. Oh, coming on. With, uh, with an extra one for good luck. So if you're 20 years old, you'll have your ear pulled for one okay. time. Well, it's technically you. Oh, right. <laughs> good luck. Thank you very much. Do you want me to pull your ear? No, it's okay. <laughs> okay. In China, apparently, you can um, there's longevity noodles. So how far oh. you can slurp your noodles before before biting them. That's what the longevity noodles birthday tradition is all about, oh. which symbolizes long life and good luck. Oh. So yeah, you can slurp your noodles as long as possible. Um. Sweeping the streets of City Hall in Germany. So an old mm. tradition for single men who turn 30 oh, is to okay. sweep the steps of their local City Hall while their friends toss rubble on them. So specific. <laughs> Everything about that is so specific. That's so, but it's so funny, don't you think? Yeah. Like, you're 30 and single? Well, make you work. That's so weird. And then the last one is this little clip from mm -hmm. a podcast, Tony and Ryan, which I really like. Mm -hmm. um, and they're talking about one thing in America. And, like, I could just say it. But they are much funnier than we okay. are, so we are going to steal their content okay. in a respectful manner, yeah. honouring them. Chant what comes next, all right? Here yeah. in Australia, we're finishing up happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, dear someone. Happy birthday to you. Hip, hip. Hooray. Hip, hip. Hooray. They don't do that. What? They don't do the hip, hip, hooray. So they don't have fun there. No, they don't <laughs> have fun wrong. there. So don't Without the hip hip, it's just singing a stupid f***ing song. <laughs> so in America, yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, I've heard that. Like, I never realised that's just an right. Aussie thing. I feel like, okay, you know how we clap yeah. for the number of years? I don't know if people do that. Yeah. And we go one for good luck, one to go. That's like, I yeah. thought that was like, to, yeah. but I thought hip hip hooray everyone does. Apparently not. not Americans let America. us know, but apparently they don't hip hip. They just go, happy birthday to you. Silence. That's it. That's so weird. It's no wonder they're all dead inside. Exactly. There's no hip hip parades. They're just. Now I've got a question for you though. Are you a hip hipper? Like, do you what? hip hip or do you hooray? I hip hip. You're because a hip hipper. I usually hip hip because everyone gets me to hip hip because I have the loudest voice. So. True. Yeah. It's like it's a power move, right? It is. Hip hip. I am the hip hipper. What can I say? I wish I was a hip hipper, but I'm not. You're just a hooray. I'm just a hooray. Just one of the sheep. <laughs> yeah. Whoosh. Well, we'll, we'll see was, you next year. That was our birthday. Yeah. We're old now. Um, when you're old and when you're If you're, you're also an August baby, yay. Comment down below your star sign. Com comment down below your birthday. <laughs> yeah, comment down below your star sign. Yay. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye shardies. <laughs>